So while we were at a car show, we saw these two black beauties and I thought to myself, wow. At first glance, one looked like a Tessarossa and the other one looked like a 355. But I couldn't be sure, so there's only one thing to do and that's speak to the owners. Am, am, am I wrong? Are, are these yours? No, no. Wow. Ferrari. Huh? Wow. We're going to ask if we can speak to an owner. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can we have a quick word about your lovely Ferrari, please? Can you please. Yes, please, sir. This is a fantastic, fantastic. Right, so listen, I'm with Kid. Check this out. Check this out. How are yeah, you, mate? You're I'm right. Good. I'm good, bro. Yeah. yeah nice tell to me meet about, you. about your Ferrari, like because some of them like this looks like to me a Tessarossa. Yeah. And then some of them look like the three two eight. Is it? Is it? I can't remember. So, so it's a 348. 348, yeah. So it looks a bit like a 355 that I come yeah. after. But you're right, it has got the look of a Testarossa because it's yeah. called a baby Testarossa because this is the V8. Yes. And the Testarossa was the V12. Right. So this one, um, it's got a few custom bits on it. Air ride, obviously. Yeah. Um, Capristo exhaust. Yeah. Um, Few little, you know, nice little touches here. Yeah. To make it a little bit nicer and smoother to run, you know, in the modern day. Fantastic, because yeah. some people are taking these old Ferraris and like putting their own spin on them. I know some people yeah. prefer them standard, but yeah, yeah. this looks absolutely fantastic. Just yeah. let's just take a walk around. Like, what's a favourite aspect of it? For me, it's got to be the air ride. Yeah. And, and the wheels. So, yeah. So the wheels are a custom three piece as well. So yeah. It's got a centre offer. Yeah. Uh, Ferrari F50 and yeah. then it's got custom sort of uh, centres and lips so I'd say that's probably for me the best modified part the best standard part I'd really? definitely say it's the cheese grater side streaks yes there, yeah yeah very Testarossa esque yeah so I love that boxy look of it you know that sort of 1980s early 90s yeah. kind of feel of it fantastic yeah. what I love about it I love the rear yeah. in the back because no Ferrari looks like that this is like Beverly Hills Cop, like you know, yeah, yeah, very proper 1980s. 1980s. This is what I love. Yeah, this is what I absolutely like the love. Miami Vice type yeah, vibe, Miami yeah. Vice type. Look. So how long have you had it for? So I've had it just over a year now. Yeah. yeah. So. And what have you done to it? So I've personally not done too much to it, other yeah. than just tidy it up and get all the little bits in Bob's working. Yeah. So it already had the air ride and the yeah. wheels on it. So yeah. I've got some wheels. Uh, that I'm hopefully going to be putting on there pretty soon. Yeah. I've got quite a lot of modifications planned in the next yeah. six months. So yeah. just, just planning those out at the moment to really put a unique touch on it. So wow. genuine will, genuinely will be a one-on-one -on -one yeah. type of vehicle and hopefully yeah. take it to a lot more shows, wow. a lot more promotion for um, mm -hmm. you know all the people sponsoring it and all that yeah. kind of stuff. How much is something like this worth? It's worth what anybody wants to pay, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the right buyer, I guess it is. But I think yeah. for, I mean, they're going up in value. But I think you can get them as low as maybe fifty or sixty grand. Yeah. Uh, depending on the spec, but to find a to find one that's black on black with the interior, yeah, yeah. It's very very rare to do. Yeah. So obviously the value then goes up. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, I mean, yeah. So, some examples you can see two hundred grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very clean. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is fantastic. Where can people find you? You've got an Instagram for the car. Yeah, I do, mate. I do have an Instagram yeah. for the car. Yeah. Let's have a look. If you'd like to follow what we're doing next. Yeah. It's there. Yeah, dirty F. Three, four, eight. That is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, and we really, really appreciate, appreciate it. That what well. a beautiful car. Cheers, thank, buddy. thank you. Thank you. So listen, I'm with the other owner, Ferrari, and this is fantastic. And with Rich, how are you? All right, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your Ferrari. If people don't know, tell me a little about it. Ferrari three two eight, mm -hmm. nineteen eighty eight. Yeah. One of fifty four in black, right hand drive. Two years ago, this was scrap. Really? Yeah, no engine, no glass, no interior, no wheels, no suspension. Wow. Smashed to the front, smashed to the back. Wow. So, re-welded everything, re-sculpted it, and then 
done it up, put some interior in it, slapped some uh, centre locks on it. Wow, that's fantastic. Thanks, mate. Yeah, so like, just tell me a bit about the specification of the engine. Yeah, Ferrari engine. Yeah. 3.2, yeah. eight cylinder. Wow. 270 brake horsepower. Wow. So do you do you have um, a business that restores cars then? Do you, or just do, did you do it yourself? Or what did you do? Or did you just send it to somebody to... Well, I did it on myself, but I do have a, a restoration company as well. Wow, that's fine. What, what company is that? Moto Bureau. Moto Bureau? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And you just specialise in rest restoring cars? Yeah, yeah, all classic stuff, just metal stuff, so wow. loads of custom cars. Wow, well, that's fantastic. Tell me about these wheels and the tyres, I love those. Yeah, man, so Ferrari F40 race wheels, magnesium, wow. BBS, wow. centre lock. So quite yeah. a difficult wheel to get to fit on the car perfectly because yeah. you can't use spaces or anything. So yeah. everything's considered and engineered. Wow. So what's your favourite aspect of the car? Uh, I think it's everything that comes together in the, the car in, in itself. Yeah. So not just one thing, I think. Yeah. There's some cool bits on it. The mirrors are cool. Yeah. Wheels are cool. Um, but I think as a whole, it's, it's a big package in it. So it's nice. So do you take it like to any track days or excursions in or outside of the UK? I've only just finished building it really mate, yeah. so just bringing it to some shows, win some awards, it's, uh, it's yeah. nice to get a little pat on the head in it, you've, yeah, uh, yeah. you've done a good job. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely, and I hope, hopefully you'll get more pats on it when people see this video because it's absolutely fantastic. Thanks. And see how the front and rear end smash and you've restored it to this, it's, 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 it's testament to your work. Thank you bud, yeah, so, appreciate yeah, that. What's the next thing that you're going to do to it? Next thing I'm doing, I'm changing the wheels, yeah. I'm putting some power bulges on the side, yeah. rear power bulge. Yeah. So uh, windscreen wipers fallen off on way here, so I'm going one windscreen wiper now, race yeah. style. Um, change seat belts, yeah. um, and then change the uh, the bonnet. Wow, wow, that's so. fantastic. Where can people find you? Have you got an Instagram for it, or? Yeah, Rich Colville. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where people can find you. Yeah, there's YouTube and yeah, yeah Instagram's best place to follow the builds. Yeah. Thank you so much for it. Right, I really mate, appreciate right. it. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Beautiful Ferrari. Thank you, man.